Okay, so welcome back again to another discussion on our registered master electrician online review. So we'll continue solving problems, uh, problems that are similar to the uh, problems that they came out on the recent uh, RME board exams for the past few years. So we are now on problem number 18. Okay, number 18. So let's start. Okay, so a resistance of 4 ohms is connected in series to a parallel connection of 2 8 ohm resistance. The total resistance is blank. Okay, so we have here this the problem. So we need to first get the uh, diagram so a resistance of 4 ohms is connected in series okay so the resistance of 4 ohms is to a parallel connection of 2 8 ohm resistances so for example if this is our uh, 4 ohm resistance so it is connected to a 2 to 2 8 ohm resistances so 2 8 ohm resistances okay so we we'll make this one much longer okay so this is 8 ohms this is also 8 ohms okay so we need to find the total resistance or the RT so like in the previous example we first simplify this one this will be our rp okay rp so solving our rp so we need to find the conductance in order for us to easily analyze it. so this is one over one eight so this is just the sum of the reciprocal of the resistances connected in parallel or equal to 2 over 8 or equivalent or equal to 1 fourth and RP is just the reciprocal of the conductance GP okay 1 over GP so we have 1 over 1 over 4 and this is now equal to 4 ohms so we could rewrite our circuit so our circuit will become this one this will be the 4 ohm resistance and this is the RP okay so we are going to get the RP this is the 4 ohm resistance and this is our RP and this is now a very simple series circuit of two resistor so our RT is equal to 4 plus RP so this is equal to 4 plus 4 or equal to 8 ohms and this is now our answer okay next Let's proceed to problem number 19 okay a battery whose internal resistance is 5 ohms is connected to an external resistor of 10 ohms the battery terminal voltage is 15 volts what is the emf of the battery or what is the voltage rating of the battery so that is what you meant by emf the battery or the electromotive force of the battery okay so we'll start this one by drawing or sketching the diagram so we have here a battery okay oops uh, my lines are somewhat not straight then its internal resistance is um, equivalent to 5 ohms so this is the internal resistance so we'll call this one a small letter r rf okay 
So, it's equivalent to 5 ohms. Okay. So, it is connected to a 5 ohm resistor. Okay. So, R is equal to 5 ohms. Now, the terminal voltage is 15 volts. So, when you, when you say terminal voltage, that is the voltage on the terminal of the battery. So, where is that terminal battery? Here. This is the ter terminal of the, the battery. The point at which the load is connected to the battery. It could not be here in this resistance because this is the internal resistance. So, the voltage across this one is equivalent to... So, let's just draw this one. Equivalent to... 15 volts. So let's call this volts as uh, call this one as VR. Okay. So we are going to solve for our voltage here. So E. Okay. E. So that is the required. Of course, we have a current here. It's equal to I. So we need to solve for E. Okay, how we are going to solve that? So, the in solving E, we could go back to our Ohm's law triangle. Ohm's law triangle. So, this is E, I, and R. So, we could uh, use the formula over the E. So, E is equal to I times R. I times R. So, but our R here, because this is a series circuit, so this is the total resistance of the circuit. So, we could solve this one, the voltage, if we have I and our RT. By inspection, we can, we can have our RT as the sum of these two resistances, the internal and the resistance of 10 ohms. But our I, we could not find our I because... Uh, there is no way of solving the I, but we must remember that, for example, if we have a current flowing here, this is our I sub R, a current flowing here in this resistor, it, it is also equal to the current flowing in this one. For example, our R, I, R, F, and also equal to the current on this one, flowing out of the battery. Because that is the characteristic of a series circuit. The current in each of the resistances in a series circuit is equal to the total current. So we can see that I is equal to I sub R. And by using still Ohm's law, so we could say that I R, so we go back to this triangle to cover this one, is equal to the voltage at this one which is V R over R, which is the resistance on this resistor. So we could substitute that one because we have already our VR 15 volts divided by 5 ohms. And our uh, current on the resistance of 5 ohms, okay, so maybe I made some mistake here. This is not 5 ohms but 10, so sorry for that. So let's just correct this one. So I made some mistake in my I'm writing my given. Okay, so this is actually 10 ohms. Okay, so this will be this will be 10 ohms. Okay, so like like they say. Uh, like they say, I am stand corrected, but as of now, I am sitting. Okay, so 15 divided by, divide, divide by 10, that is 1.5 amperes. And this is now our, let's just check. Okay, so this is now our current. So the, this is also equivalent to our total current, which is I. So we can now solve for our, for our, voltage no so but we will say there is no rt so solving rt so for those who have forgotten how to solve rt that is equal just 
series circuit, so sum of the resistances, so that is R plus RF. So if you forgot how to solve this one, so that is 10 ohms plus 5 ohms. So you will have 15 ohms. So you have now your RT, so you just substitute this one directly, 1.5 amperes times 15 ohms so you have 1.5 times 15 this is equal to 22.5 so 22.5 volts and this is now your answer okay so let's go to the last problem Problem number 20, okay? Two, in, uh, two 100 volt incandescent lamp is rated 60 watts and 200 watts, sorry, rated 60 watts and 200 watts are connected in series across a 200 volt supply. What current will flow through each lamp? Okay, so looks like this problem, it's a little complicated but we will try to solve this one so we have two um, 60 watt and 200 watts lamp so it's rate they are all rated at 100 volts so they are connected in series so let's just draw a lamp here so this will be our 100 volt 60 watt lamp then we have another one here this will be our 100 volts 200 watt lamp with watt lamp so they are connected across a voltage source So the voltage is 200 volt supply, so 200 volt supply, so we could write the other parameters which are not uh, stated, so this is our I, so this is this 200 that is our E, okay, so here we have our R1 and we have our R2. Two. Okay, so we are required to find our I, so that is required. So by using Ohm's law triangle, so our I is equal to E over RT because that is in series circuit. So we need to find the total resistance. Now, if you look to the given, so I did the sketch of the diagram, there is no uh, resistance. The given only is the voltage and the power rating. And also this one, the voltage and the power rating. So we need to solve for the resistance using these two given. So, for, so first we need to solve for R1. So let's change the color. So because this involves um, wattage and voltages, so we will use our triangles, no? the Ohm's law triangle and the power triangle. Okay. So this will be our uh, E1. We have I1. This is R1. Then we have P1. This is E1 and I1. Okay, so we need to solve for R1. So if we cover here R1, we could have the formula R1 is equal to E1 over I1. Okay, so we have our we have our E1, which is 100 volts, but we don't have our I1. So from the other triangle, the power triangle, we could use that one. So I1 is equal to equal to okay p1 over p1 
one. So we have our P one which is sixty watts. So sixty watts over one hundred volts. So our E one is equal to so we'll use the calculator sixty over one hundred. I believe that is point six. 1,000.6 so this is 0 0.6 amperes so we can now substitute this one this value of E1 here so our, our, our R1 is equal to 100 volts over 0 0.6 so this is equal to 100 divide 0.6 so equal to so 166.67 so 166.67 ohms this is for r1 and for r2 we will have the same solution let's just change the color so r2 is equal to um, E2 over I2 so using the same power triangle only changing the um, changing the subscript so E2 is equal to P2 over E2 this is equal to um, 200 watts divided by 100 volts or equal to 2 amperes. So our R2 is equal to, equal to 100 volts over 2 amperes. So R2 is equal to 50 ohms. Okay. So we can now solve for our I. Okay, so let's solve for our I. So I is equal to the given voltage is 200 volts over. So R1 plus R2. So R R1 plus R2 so this is equal to um, 200 volts over 200 volts over uh, 50 uh, 166.67 okay so we just write that one Legibly plus 50 ohms. So this, this must be in ohms. So we have um, 200 over 166.67 plus 50. So we have so 0 0.92. So you have 0 0.90, check 92, 92, 92 amperes. And this is now your answer. So you will say, sir, why not we use 0 0.6 as the current? Because that I1 is also the current in here. So you say that the current in a series circuit is equal to each, uh, whatever the current to the load or to the resistance is equal. So this current is derived by using the rating of your bulb, of, of your lamp. But in actuality, this, is not, this current is not the actual current. Because the actual current will depend on the load itself. So because we are, we are um, solving problems or solving devices or problems, in which the given have their own rating. So, we'll, um, we'll 
analyze that one through what is the constant on each of the rating and that is the resistance so that's why we are using resistances and getting the total of those resistances in order to get the total current so 0.6 and point and 2 amperes is not the answer or not the total current that is the current if the bulb is supplied with a 100 100 volt source for if the rating is 60 watts or 2 amperes if the rating is 200 watts but in our problem they are supplied by a 200 volt source another interesting thing that you must uh, notice or some of you have may not the, the rating of the bulb is 100 ba uh, bulb lamp okay whatsoever so the rating of the lamp is 100 volts for each one of them so 100 volts for the 60 watts and 100 volts for the 200 watts so the rating of a device must not exceed so the the rating of the device must not be exceeded by its source for example if the rating is 100 volts it must not be supplied by a 200 volt source or else the bulb will be busted but in this instance the reason why they are connected in a series is that in order for the bulb not to be busted for example this one will have just a voltage drop of something and this one is a voltage drop of something so they are not directly supplied by a 100 volt bulb okay uh, they are not directly supplied by a 200 volt source so that's why the two bulbs will not busted and that is the reason also we are getting the total current okay so that will be all for our rme uh, board exam review online so we have solved 20 problems and for those who are uh, currently enrolled in our google classroom um, online review so i will be posting a test about this one and some theories that we have been discussed and thank you for watching i hope you learned something if you have any comments suggestions or clarifications or corrections with all of my previous videos and these videos you are free to comment below on the comment section or you can email me directly if you are on google classroom and as always thank you for watching and in order to pass the exam keep studying